All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick little overview of um, the AVO turbo kit on the Crosstrek, what was done with it, um, supporting mods, all that, just so um, you guys can have one quick uh, and easy video if you wanna just know kind of an overview of what the car has had done to it recently. But uh, yeah, I'll throw in a little cold start for you guys. Uh, at the end of the video, but uh, enjoy. All right guys, so here's the engine bay. Um, I do just want to tell ahead of time that if some people are watching this and they're new to the channel here, um, this is the FB20 um, motor and it's also paired with a five-speed manual transmission. I've got the AVO Stage 1 turbo kit on here with a bunch of different um, supporting mods and just add-ons that I've done um, tailored to kind of what I wanted, but uh, yeah, let's get right, guys, so kind of starting on the side of the engine bay here, you can see my old cash can. Um, that is the same one as previous. It just plumbed up a little bit differently, but um, it serves its purpose. I do drive the car year round and in the winter. So that's why I do have a cash can instead of an AOS. Um, I can check on it and I can empty it as I need. So that is my reason for having it. Next, I've got this Cobb SF intake. This is from a 08 to 14 WX or the 09 to 13 Forester XT. Uh, it bolts into the factory locations um, as it should, no modification needed. Um, the only thing you cannot use is the post map hose that would kind of extend to this portion here But uh, you just remove that and she bolts up it Sounds really good really great. You get a lot of nice induction noises and you can hear the turbo and um, The wastegate the turbo kit obviously is internally gated, but um, With the exhaust that I have you can hear it dump into the exhaust It sounds to get this factory air duct to fit you do have to cut um, under here a little bit super easy Still bolts on with the two clips and it is just held on by one zip die so it's not flopping around but yeah it serves its purpose. It's a little hard to see down here but this is my Vibrant Performance manual boost controller. I have it set to the lowest um, setting right now so it's literally just off the wastegate of the turbo but the car is on five to five and a half pounds of boost. The car is making 205 wheel and 190 wheel torque um, on the virtual dyno. This car will be back on a hub dyno at some point soon, so I would expect it to make around maybe 215 to 220, but um, we'll have to see for a later. So before I get onto any other stuff, um, the car does have um, WRX, uh, 08 to 14 WRX, sorry, uh, dark blue 565cc injectors. It's got the TGVs deleted, and there is a divider underneath the TGV on the top of the block, and those have all been removed from um, the four locations here. I do have an IAG EGR delete on the car as well. Um, there are two little standoffs on one of the block off plates that had to be shaved down, but um, any other EGR delete for an FA20 will fit these cars um, without any mod. Just before I forget, in terms of fueling, um, obviously I've got the WX 565cc injectors, but in the uh, fuel tank, I've got the AVO fuel pressure um, regulator paired with a Dietchworks 300C fuel pump um, for the 15 plus WRX and the 13 plus BRZ. Um, in terms of transmission stuff, you guys um, obviously know it. it does have a five speed, but I've got the Carboy uh, Legacy Shifter combo. So that's the front and rear bushings with the uh, short shift. I've got a Omni four bar map sensor for the BRZ. Um, it is a little bit overkill in terms of how many bar it can monitor, but um, it serves its purpose. You could probably get away with a three bar or a little lower, but it really depends on how much boost you're gonna be. Uh, back here, I still have the OEM um, bypass valve from AVO, but I will be getting their polished billet one um, shortly. I'm still gonna run it as a bypass valve, so no vent to atmosphere, no 50-50 split. Um, especially on a math-based car like this is, um, you do run a, want to run a bypass. On this side, I've got a MA Performance um, BRZ oil cooler. It is the 13 row, and you can see it just under here. Obviously, the car is um, fitted with a front mount intercooler. It is not top mount, so you can see it behind the grill here. Um, I was going to mount the oil cooler on the top of the intake manifold so that my hood scoop could feed air into it, but um, with the amount of time that I had to kind of get this done. Um, I didn't really want to do that, but that can always be done in the future with um, some custom fabrication. So in terms of oil that I'm going to be, that I am running on the car, sorry. Um, currently the car is running 5W, 5W40 um, Enios uh, full synthetic, 
but in the winter I'm going to switch back to um, 5W30 from Enos again full synthetic um, yeah so in terms of exhaust I still have the same um, exhaust as before obviously the um, turbo kit replaces the um, hand, uh, the, <laughs> sorry the header but um, I do have a 3 inch catted turbo back exhaust built by Matt at GT Custom um, here in the GTA um, it's got a high flow cat in it two vibrant ultra quiet resonators and a large style um, vibrant uh, muffler in the rear um, I do probably plan on taking one of the vibrants the ultra quiets out putting on a v-band so I can switch back and forth when I want cars a little quiet for my taste but it's actually quite nice right now since I've been doing a lot of highway stuff and uh, it's allowed me to hear the uh, turbo a lot more. So as I did increase the horsepower of the car, um, I did want to make sure that I had adequate um, brake power. So before the turbo kit in was installed, I did have um, the Torque Solutions master cylinder brace uh, as well as StopTech stainless steel lines front and rear with um, DOT for brake fluid from ATE. But um, when the turbo kit was put on, I got um, stop tech slotted rotors for front and the rear and also their street pads uh, super super nice before i forget i do have this primitive racing skid plate to go back on the car um, i did have to notch it ever so slightly for the oil cooler the a in fittings were just touching it ever so slightly and obviously um, you don't want any metal on metal rubbing that can you know rub through so um, i modified that the other night i just got a uh, file and shaved down the area so that'll go back on um, I do have a slight leak from my uh, timing chain cover, so what I'm going to do is clean off that surface with some brake clean and I did buy some sealant that I'm just going to do a little bit of a band-aid right now until I fully commit to doing the job. The leak isn't that bad, but um, a portion of the turbo kit is going to have to come off to pop the front um, timing cover off, so um, that is something that I am anticipating on doing, but for right now I'm just going to put a little band. Another thing that I do have to put on is a bunch of different suspension um, parts and a turbo blanket. I have a Torque Solutions um, stock frame turbo blanket for a FA20 as it's a low mount turbo and that will fit this turbo kit. Uh, you've seen it in my other videos. I still have to install that. So I have a couple things to do and uh, yeah. So hopefully you can see the interior a little bit better, but up here I've got a AEM oil pressure gauge with a SMY defroster um, gauge pod. Here I've got the SMY uh, tachometer gauge pod with a Innovate Motorsports AFR gauge and boost gauge. And obviously I still have my ultra gauge um, plugged into the OBD tube port. Uh, if you guys haven't got updated with the car in a little bit, um, I've got this 2018 50th anniversary WX steering wheel with um, the airbag and I also have the shifter um, console as well. Um, I've got a WC Lathworks 5 speed to 6 speed adapter with the Onyx uh, shift knob from a car guy's garage. It's about 500 grams and this thing feels wicked, nice and heavy. But yeah, um, that is about it. I will throw in a cold start for you guys. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am very, very, very close to um, getting monetized. So if you guys are watching this and you aren't subscribed, please make sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I post. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.